right, so welcome back. So our goal is to, to try to take some of these skills we've got. So we've got a model object sitting over here that we've done nothing with. Uh, we've got this cool ability to use Jinja, and we want to start using this data, right? So, I mean, it'd be fun to start displaying data, but you really can't display anything until you've got something to display. So let's kind of look at what we're, what we're trying to do here. I'll go up to the, the first slide again. So the focus for what we're trying to do now is really this, this top area, right? So we want to be able to add a quote. We're not worried about this stuff yet. Uh, that will be a later, a later day, right? So what we want to do is we want to be able to, to create HTML. That's going to have to come first, right? That's going to render this, this view. Uh, so there's some labels over here. Uh, there's some inputs over here. And then there's a submit button there. We also changed what the H1 says. And then when you hit submit, you want that to go do something, right? So we're going to fix the HTML, and then we're going to handle the actual doing of something. We won't actually display anything in this video on, on this screen, but it will actually get stored in, in the data store. All right, so let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's start adding some things. So we've got our template here that we, we prepared prepared last time. Uh, the title we're going to change to say, add a movie quote or something like that, you know, your choice. And then uh, we're going to have a form. So forms are a great uh, symbol, been around for decades way uh, to send data to your back end. So you, you make a form. A form has a couple attributes on it that are important. Uh, there's the action which this is very similar to uh, to a link. So a, a link is an anchor, is what it's called, and it has an href, and that means when you click on it, where do I go? Um, the action on the form is very simple. When somebody submits it, um, where does this where does this form go? And also, you need to say when this form goes there, what's it doing? Uh, it's going to do a post. You can say uppercase post or lowercase post. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. And so whenever you click on submit, it's going to send all the data that's in this form to um, wherever we're at. So it'll be localhost 8080 in this case, slash add quote. If you're on the deployed version, it'll go to like your deploy.appspot.com slash add quote. We haven't written that receiver yet, but we're still we're in the HTML mode. And then also, if you look closely at our page, there's a, a line below it. So we'll add a, an HR there. So now we're going to start putting things in this form. Uh, don't judge me on this, but I, I first set up this form when I was very new to HTML programming, and I put it into a table. Um, to be honest, I don't like, this is not best practice. Like, it's like, oh, everything can be a table. Um, there, there really doesn't need to be a table, but the table also works fine. And so what I did with the table is I have a couple table rows in it. There's also, if you really get into HTML, there's things called T head and um, T body, and there's things called TH for the header row. Um, I'm just making a really simple, you know, table that is that is not best practice, right? So my table has a table row. Uh, the table row, the top table row says quote. Uh, that's that's one thing that's in there. It then has an input element. The input element, uh, there's a lot of different types of input elements. This one's going to be of type text. Um, it also is going to need a name. So the name is going to get used, like when this sends it to your back end, what is this value going to be called? So this first one is going to be called quote. Inputs are kind of weird because they don't need to be uh, closed, so there's no like closing thing. Oh, and I forgot to say that these are... These are cells in the table. <laughs> Suppose uh, if it had never been a table, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Um, so to say that you're a cell in the table, it's a TD. I forget what TD stands for, but it means you know cell in the table. So the first cell is going to say quote. Uh, the next cell is going to say you know input, and then just kind of have a blank area. There's also other things you can add. There's things called like placeholder attributes and things like that. I'm going to keep it really simple. The next row is going to be pretty similar to the first, uh, except for it's going to say movie. Uh, and it's also going to be an input of type text. Uh, and the name 
uh, on this one, whatever a user puts in here for the value, send it to the server calling it value. And then the last row, let's go ahead and type it again, is going to have a, a blank TD, which there are ways to make blank TDs, but I'm just going to add a blank one. And what it's going to have is it's going to have another input uh, of a very different type, right? The input on this one is going to be called type submit. And then submits look very different, right? They look like buttons. Uh, and then I think it's its value we set to uh, the title of the button. I'm going to say submit there. And then, of course, I need to close up the TR. Uh, I guessed at a lot of this HTML, so I suppose I better go look at the slides to see how I did. Ah, so it looks like I did pretty good, right? So we've got a, a table with the first row saying quote and then an input, movie and then an input, um, a blank and then a submit. Let's go see what this guy renders like. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Uh, I'm going to go open up uh, my local host and I'm going to do a refresh here. Uh, so you can see we're making progress, right? So it says add a movie quote. There's no pretty blue background, right? Because we haven't added any CSS that, that will come later. Um, but you can see that we've already got the ability to type stuff, right? So I mean, I'll be back. That's a nice short quote. Uh, you can hit tab, you got that for free, and you can type, uh, you know, Terminator. And then if you click submit, it's going to send this form to add quote, but there's nobody there to receive it. So you can click submit, but it's going to be a disaster, right? So it says 404 not found. That actually makes perfect sense because it's not found. There's nothing there. So we, we went to this place. We did a post. Posts are sneaky because they consist of a URL, which you can see, and then also a post body, which Chrome doesn't display for you, right? But it, it was there. So let's go make that uh, go somewhere useful. Switching back over to Python. So coming back into Python, let's talk about what is working already. So right now, if you go to the, the, the default path, so just slash, it's going to give you the main handler, and the main handler is going to give, render the page. I don't really like the name main handler. Uh, I'm going to call it movie quotes page. I kind of like to say the word page uh, when something is going to, to render HTML, like it's a page that people can see. And then if it's a post handler, uh, I like to say the word, uh, so if anybody comes to add quote, I'm going to make a new handler for them, uh, and I'm going to call it the add quote action. I like saying add quote action. I also like double quotes. I'm, I should start just using double quotes everywhere. Oh, and I hate when Eclipse confuses me um, with, with auto-completing of quotes. So right now it's complaining. It says, you know, undefined variable add quotes action. You know, that makes a lot of sense. I haven't made it yet. So I'm going to make another class. This one's going to be called add quote action. It is also going to be a web app to request handler. And what he's going to do is instead of having a git, he's going to have a post. So let's, let's pause and talk for a minute. I actually could have, because this app is so simple, used only one handler. I could have left its name as main handler even, um, and had him do gits, which gave pages, and have him do post, which, you know, add data, and then redirect to the page. And that would have been fine, but I'm trying to set us up for more complex apps that will come later, right? So if a page has many different actions, um, I'm just separating out the two because there's no reason for them to be together. Um, if you didn't follow that, don't worry about it. Just just follow along and, and you'll you'll learn to swim as we go, right? So we got a we got a post. The first thing I want to do is I want to pull out uh, the two things we were given, and we were given a quote. And we were also giving a movie title, which we'll just call movie. The way you pull those things out is you just say self.request, that's the request that you were given. Uh, what was your quote and what was your movie? And it pulls them out. And one neat thing you can do is, you know, like any language, you can do some logging. Um, and so we'll just say to do 
uh, add quote with, or sorry, add quote, and we'll just print out the quote. And then we'll say from movie, and then we'll just print out the movie. So eventually this is gonna store data and redirect to a Git handler. But for, for starters, I just wanted to, to do some logging. It says, hey, I, this logging thing, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna do a control shift O uh, and I'm gonna import logging. So you can see that it added uh, logging for me at the top, which is great. So now what it should do is if we go do that same test as before, make sure you hit save. So if I come into here and I type my quote, and then I type my movie, and I hit submit, um, it'll take me to that add quote page, and that add quote page should print out my little to-do. Uh, so mine didn't print anything. Oh, that's right, because I, I did it as a log message. Um, so if I go check the logs, uh, I can see it, it says it in the logs. I actually didn't mean to do a log. I meant to actually just, just print it. Um, so I actually wanted to say self.response.write is actually what I meant to do because I really don't care if it, uh, if it displays it for now. Interesting, you can actually hit refresh and it will redo your entire post for you, which is kind of neat. Um, so it says add quote, my quote from movie, uh, and then it's apparently missing a movie. Hmm, suppose I should fix that. So there's something I did wrong, right? Because I was getting the movie here, uh, saving it to movie. I was printing it there. Must have typed something wrong in my HTML. Um, sure enough, if I come back into my HTML, instead of saying movie, I wrote the word main. Apparently I typed the word main too often. So, I mean, this is why we do things in little steps. So I'm just going to say, quote, movie. Apparently I have caps lock on. Uh, add quote quote from movie movie all right working last thing we want to do is I don't want to print it to the screen that was never my objective what I really want to do is I want to save it so in order to save it what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create an object so we're going to say new movie quote um, so we're going to have to get it from our models class so we're going to say movie quote, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a control shift O real quick and see if it'll import uh, movie quote for me. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to import movie quotes uh, from there, which is great. Uh, so from models, import movie quote, thank you very much. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to set the quote on it uh, to be quote, and we're going to set the movie on it to be movie. Uh, just because there's no real reason to, to make your code any longer. I'm just going to do it right in line. I already confirmed with my log that it worked, right? So I'm not going to make the variables. Um, and so what I'm going to do is this makes an object, right? So it makes a movie and it makes a quote. Um, but it doesn't actually save it to the data store once you create it. You actually have to explicitly say, uh, put it in the data store. Some people are like, well, why do I have to put it in the data store? Shouldn't it do that automatically? You wouldn't want it to, right? Because you want to be able to create objects that aren't saved. Um, so you have to say put, and that actually writes it to the data store. Um, technically, it, it writes it to a log to be done later, but, but we won't worry about that. And then um, instead of just writing a response, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to redirect So we're going to redirect to somewhere. So we're going to point you somewhere different. Um, what you could do in this case is you could just say, hey, redirect uh, to, to the no slash version. Just go back there. That's fine. Instead, what I'm going to type is I'm going to say self.request.refer. Uh, um, and what that'll do is that'll just send it back to whoever sent you here, right? So that way it's, a, it's an easy safeguard as your apps get bigger. Go back to whoever sent you here. Uh, so this is going to be exciting. Um, so we're going to go into our local host. And so now uh, when we create this data, it's going to actually get saved uh, to the data store, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to put in a quote that just says, oh, what the heck, I'll put in all be back. And that's going to be from Terminator. Uh, so I can either 
click on submit or I can just hit enter. Uh, it kind of looks like nothing happened. Uh, that's actually okay, that was expected. Um, it's saved to the data store, but we're not displaying it on, on this page yet. If we would like to see the data in the data store, there's some cool tricks you can do. Instead of going to localhost 8080, if you go to localhost 8000, that's the admin port. If you read the logs when Eclipse started your, your back end, it would have to told you this thing. So in the, the admin log, I can actually go into the data store viewer um, and I can see what, what data I've got. So for movie quotes, I've got one row and you can see it's got the movie Terminator and it's got the quote that says, I'll be back. So you can see that we actually are saving this data, which is cool. Um, and so we've done a lot uh, in this video. So we're gonna cut this one off here, uh, but you can see that we created all this HTML, uh, which admittedly was formatted with a table, which is not best practice, but that's okay, it worked fine. The uh, form is the important thing. Uh, what the form does is it goes through and it looks for the inputs. Um, and so whenever you click on the submit button, it took this input, whatever you had typed in here, uh, and this put input, whatever you had typed in here, and it sent it to the back end. In fact, if you wanted, this is just kind of a neat thing, you could uh, print out uh, the self.request. I think technically if you want to print it out, you have to say the string version of self.request. Um, and you can actually look at it. Let's go ahead and do one real quick. So I'm going to go back into this version, um, and I'm going to say, I'll, I'll just, I'll be lame. I'll say my quote. I always wish I would make up better movie quotes, but it's like hard to think. Um, so if I click on submit now, it says my quote and my movie. If I wanted to come back to uh, to Eclipse, uh, I can see that that sure enough, when I print out this this request, it's it's big, long, and ugly. But you can see that one of the things in there is quote equals my quote and movie equals my movie. All right, so that's all we got for uh, for this time. Uh, we'll see you next time whenever we start uh, displaying these things on the screen, uh, which will be a nice change. All right, see you next time. Bye.